are some pretty sad news but we also have some happy stuff coming out of it so i want to explain everything for you guys so you guys know exactly what's gonna be happening in the future updates for call of duty mobile this one in particular is about zombies but this also includes some zombie or some multiplayer as well as some battle royale updates for you guys too so anyways guys if you guys don't know there is a community update that gets released by the activision developers every single week and it's been going on ever since the initial release for cod mobile and they've been very informative exactly what's going to be happening with call of duty mobile and honestly i think it's great not a lot of games do this but activision does this and the developers themselves have been very transparent on what's going to be happening with the future release updates for call of duty mobile however though this one this last week wasn't too informative but there was a huge huge comment that gave out a ton of intel of exactly what's going to be happening with the future updates for call of duty mobile and this one in particular does resemble some stuff that's gonna be happening to zombies multiplayer as well as battle royale so anyways in this actual comment someone actually asked is there any news on the new zombie map and someone said guess they gave up on zombies rip well this is actually coming from the developers themselves todd mobile official activision developers they said hey yeah uh, we hate to be so silent on that one but no i'm afraid not we certainly see all of the questions about it, but we don't have any constructive or useful answers to share back. Hopefully, we'll be able to share something on that very soon. For now, we are just completely focused on multiplayer, battle royale, and the next major update. But keep watching because I have some other stuff I do want to talk to you guys about. You guys don't want to miss out on what I'm about to share with you guys. So obviously, with this post, it does let us know that they literally don't have anything or any useful answers to share back with us letting us know that most likely we are not going to be getting the new zombies map in season three but we're gonna be getting it in season four hopefully so what happened was season three actually got released if you guys remember and they gave us the nocturne totem map to actually download and i actually was a player i was a beta tester of this map and if you guys saw my videos earlier on, I put a link down below, but I have a full gameplay of me actually playing the update and I was actually playing the brand new zombies map. However, though, we all expected this map to actually get released in season three and it was, I guess, like teased to us multiple times, uh, not only in the Garnia version of COD Mobile, but a community update that actually got flipped down and reversed a couple of weeks back. They actually explained there's like zombie stuff coming in the future. So we expected that this was going to be the map that was going to get released in season three. However, though, with the big changes of season three, you guys know that this season technically got cut in half. And instead of 100 tiers, it got to 50 tiers. And it's by far the shortest season we've ever seen in Call of Duty mobile history. So with that being said, we already know we got the first map, the first zombies map released a couple weeks after the game actually got like initially released. So we kind of expected to see a new zombies map get released by now. But now we got the beta of the Nocturne Toten map. And now this community post does resemble we're going to be getting a new zombies map a lot later than we initially anticipated. So with that being said, I don't know if the whole seasons kind of threw everything off how they initially had like a release date for Nocturne Toten to be in this season three. But from what we can tell from Call of Duty Mobile official page, there has to have been something going wrong with the map itself. When I actually play the map, if you guys remember, back when I was live streaming it and playing it, you guys obviously know the Pack-A-Punch was definitely very buggy. You would Pack-A-Punch a gun and nothing would like really change to the gun at all. It'd be the exact same gun, but apparently it just showed a different number on the bottom of the screen. So I don't know if that's like the big issue, the big bug that they're trying to fix. There could be more to it, of course. You guys have to remember that Activision is a company and they're a publicly traded company. So they're gonna try to actually drag COD Mobile along as much as possible. They wanna continue to give us weekly as well as monthly updates. And obviously these new seasons are going to be changing a lot of that, especially if they're shorter, because we're getting more content in a short amount of time and they want to continue to give us content so it's not like they can develop these maps and these gameplays very shortly obviously it takes quite a bit of time for them to beta test and update the game so i'm assuming that they're going to try putting as much content in as possible in the game but spreading it out so the game doesn't get stale or boring we're most likely to be getting some big multiplayer and battle royale changes including the big battle royale event that's gonna be happening like i talked about in my other videos but we're also going to be getting some more multiplayer changes and personally 
as long as they continue to update the game, no matter what game mode it is, I am very excited. I'm very happy they're doing so. What's crazy about this news, of course, is we obviously know they're not giving up completely on zombies. We already know there's going to be a transit map. There is going to be the Nocturne Toten map. There's going to be even more maps released for COD Mobile Zombies. But like I mentioned, they're most likely going to be spreading these different maps out over the next couple of months just because they want to keep the game fresh and like I mentioned, it takes a long time for these maps to get developed and beta tested and they want to make sure there's no bugs, no crazy glitches or anything involved. And if that's the case, I'm willing for them to actually wait on the release of the zombie map so we can actually enjoy the game completely when they fully gets released to the public. It's been over a year now since we actually got the initial transit beta gameplay. And if you guys do not know, they actually released the transit like beta for zombies a long time ago. So we already know these maps are actually coming out. And Butter Toast went ahead and posted something very interesting. He actually showed that GR is codename for Green Run Transit. And in the game files, of course, this is coming from uh, Butter Toast. Shout out to Butter Toast. I'll put a link to his credits down below. He actually shows that there's a map called GR Tunnel, which is the Green Run Transit map, which of course is codename for the COD Mobile Transit Zombies game. So we already know Transit is going to get released sometime um, as well too. That's going to be pushed back most likely even further as well because we already have Nocturne Toten in the game. You can actually download the map right now in our game. So with that being said, I'm expected to see that we're going to be getting not only Nocturne Toten, but as well as the uh, transit map getting released in COD Mobile sometime in the future as well too. So will it be released in Season 4? It's kind of hard to tell. Will it get released in Season 5? Mm, I don't know. It, it, it's honestly too hard to tell at this point just because they haven't officially released any news regarding the release date. They've been really quiet revolving around zombies and there's definitely a reason to it. So regardless though, I'm still excited. There's still a lot of great updates. A new season is going to be coming out, so we should all be excited for that. But for the meantime, if you guys are only playing COD Mobile for zombies, I have to break the news to you. It's not going to happen for quite a little bit of time. But I'll keep you guys updated. Make sure you guys, of course, are staying tuned on my social media accounts. I'll be certain to give you guys as much news as possible regarding the new zombie maps that are coming to COD Mobile, as well as some new glitches, as well as the COD Mobile zombies, Nocturne, Toten, um, like Easter eggs, and all that fun stuff. I'll be making sure to cover it on my channel as soon as possible. But anyway, guys, I'll put a link down below to my live stream channel. I'm going to be live streaming quite a bit more often on that channel, so make sure to keep an eye on that. Um, of course, when the new Season 4 gets released, I'll be doing some videos on that on that channel, and... You guys already know the Battle Royale event is going to be going down, so I'll be live streaming here as well too. So, like I said, make sure you guys subscribe to all, all my channels. I'll put a link down below in the description as well as in the comments section. Stay tuned for that. Also, a quick shout out to Mobile Claw. If you guys are looking to have the biggest advantage for Call of Duty Mobile, highly recommend you guys go ahead and pick up a Mobile Claw. It gives you guys a controller uh, advantage on touchscreen lobbies. I use it every single time I play it on my phone, so make sure you guys go ahead and check it out. I'll put a link down below. Use code TRIZ. It does help me out as a creator, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. But anyways, guys, we'll take it easy, my friends. Have a great rest of your day. Until next time, peace out. And just how I mentioned in my other videos, like I said, I'm going to be going and giving some support back to you guys, my viewers that are small YouTubers or are trying to upload and get noticed in the community. If you guys are uploading videos, whether it's COD Mobile or any other game, doesn't matter. If you guys are a gaming channel, a vlog channel, doesn't matter, guys. I want to go ahead and show some love and support back to you guys. I'm trying to be as positive as possible. I am going to by far strive to be the best in positive COD Mobile community supporter so if you guys want to get your videos featured on my video my channel or through my discord make sure you guys let me know i'm gonna start this process this week so if you guys are interested just say yes in the comment section and comment i'm interested if you guys want me to do um like look at your channel and give you guys a potential shout out on my discord or on my youtube channel but anyways guys have a great day guys peace out stay positive bye